hey y'all welcome back to my channel today i am doing some box braids in a bob style um i felt inspired with the spring weather and all that stuff i wanted to try some um, bob braids i never had bob braids before because my hair was always too long and i don't know if it's because i'm getting older but now I'm wanting to experiment with short hair so um my last video I was asking y'all like what should I do with my hair should I cut it off should I keep transitioning and stuff like that so for these bob braids I had to chop my hair off yes this is the ends of um the back mostly of my hair I had look at how damaged it is this is why I wanted to get rid of it. It's all dried out and fried, um, over processed. I even had um, dyed my hair at one point. So yeah, got rid of that. And now I'm just left with um, longer pieces at the top so that I can have my hair put in a ponytail in the back sometimes. And the back is cut short. So this right here is the back. Um, some of them still have straight ends on them because I'm still trying to transition that through, but there's a start. So here's the braids, how they're looking so far. I like how they're coming out. I've added a piece of, um, yarn as an accent piece. I want to put like maybe three or four more pieces in here. Um, this hair is the same hair I used for my long box braids I did like a month ago. I had some hair left over, so... Decide to use that and go ahead and give these um, bob braids a try. Um, so through trial and error, first, um, just to give y'all a few tips when doing these braids, um, I know some people have long hair. They have many methods for you to have these braids with long hair. I just decided to cut my hair, and make it easier for me to um, do this style without having to do any extra um folding or tucking with my real hair but what i would say is um i chose the rubber bands on the ends because it kind of lays better that way the rubber bands kind of give them a little more weight on the end so they could form that little that little curved tuck right here on the ends um when i had burnt them some of them were curved and some of them were flipped like this way and because they were on my neck, um, it'll cause them to flip this way. And I didn't like that. So um, what ended up happening was I ran out of lighter fluid in my lighter. So I had to take that, um, the ones that I had already pre-braided up and just left the ends. I had tied a knot and then I had went and put a rubber band on them until the next day so I can go buy me a lighter and continue, you know, burning my ends. And when I put the bands on there and I cut the ends off, um, it looked better to me. So that's why I went ahead and did the rubber bands on the ends method. Um, to me, it just looks better that way. And since the hair is dark, the black rubber bands are not that noticeable. And just like I said, it gives it that weight on the end to um, have it more free flowing in the bob look. So let me just turn around and show y'all the back. Um, I pre-parted my sections here. So as I braid, I just pull a piece and braid that in. I did decide to plait my hair. I decided to plait it, like, you know, part it off and plait it. And I chose to use these, these box squares. Um, just because that's easier for me to do. I know some people like using ovals and triangles and stuff like that. Sometimes I use those methods, but it's easier for me to do the box method. And I kind of did a brick effect. Not so much going sideways, but more so going um, backwards like that. So that when I wear my braids to the side like this, it'll look, you know, more fuller and things like that so let me stop all this talking and just show y'all how i do these braids and then 
I would probably come back once I'm close to finish to show y'all how it's turning out. So first I have my uh, braid hair and I chose to use it in the long state. Now when I was deciding to do these braids, um, since I do my own hair, um, I wanted to see which method works best. So I tried to see if I could take this hair, which is like 60 inches um, total, but 30 inches on each side, cut this in half and have basically um, 15 to 18 inches of hair and then fold that in half and then braid it now when i did that since the ends are kind of thin and feathered the ends of my braids ended up being thin and i think it was too thin to have this bob look so i had to go back to the drawing board and then i just tried using the full piece itself braid it down put the rubber band and then cut it move on to the next one I found that to be a lot more um, of my desired look. So that's what I went with and I stuck with it. All right, so first I take my piece of hair. Then I grab a section of what I plaited. Now I put a little um, gel on my ends just so that they won't be sticking out. And then grab this piece use my hair as the third leg and a star braiding um i like doing the plait spurs because it helps me grip my roots and the braids last a lot longer when you grip it a little tight at the root in the past i used to just you know grab the hair and go or do the three section method but for this i want it to be a little more less bulky all right so once i braid down a little bit i take a little piece from uh one of the two strands and add it to my hair and then just keep going and then once i braid maybe like six times i take a little gel and just put it on the ends here and this helps keep the hair smooth so it doesn't snag and tangle on you and then you have to you know hurt your hands to uh, untangle that and we all know Conecalon hair is very smooth and easy to braid with but when the ends get tangled and you go to you know do all this it could burn your fingers because this is a synthetic fiber, which means it's basically, well, in a sense, it's plastic, okay? So you don't wanna be getting like plastic hair burns on your hands. So I put a little gel that makes it a little less tangly. And you see how I'm able to just break that, the ends up really smoothly. All right, so, what I do is I braid down till, you know, I match up the front braids. And also doing it with the rubber bands is a lot easier to keep them all the same length. I noticed when I was burning them, um, I tried doing them, burning them one by one. That made it even worse with the unevenness. And so uh, I'm glad once I came to this rubber band method, I would probably do like five braids or so or like a section or a row and then i'll put the rubber bands on them all and then hold them all together in a group like this and make sure that they all are um even and so i take my bag of rubber bands and I line it up with the one that is closer to and add the rubber band to the end. Just like that. Um, I've seen a few styles on YouTube where some ladies used colored rubber bands on the ends of their braids and I thought that was so cute. But I don't have any color ones so I'm going to go ahead and cut this for y'all. So you will cut this, let me focus in, 
right up under the rubber band as close to it as you can but try not to cut it and snip the ends off there you have it you see kind of it got that natural kind of curve to it i didn't have that natural curve when i was just using um the lighter method you know burning the ends i didn't have that natural curve so i didn't like that And I'm not sure if I want to dip these or put them in some hot water. I don't know if it'll make them, you know, straight or if it'll um, give it, you know, more movement and body that I'm looking for. But we'll see once I get to the end. All right, let's move on to the next one. I actually think I'm going to have to go buy another pack of hair because I have... Uh, I think one more bundle left and I still have you know the sides and stuff in the middle so I think I'm gonna you know finish with what I have and do the front so if I do have to go buy more I can at least pull my hair back or over or throw a little scarf on all right so let me grab my next piece And then these ends right here, they eventually want to get cut off because they're still damaged and raggedy. But I'm just keeping the front um, hair kind of longer so that I can still keep my hair and put it in a ponytail. All right. Let me show y'all some. I'll take a piece and just bring it over and then start back braiding. And then once I do about six loops, take some more gel, put them on the ends. y'all see how the ends are starting to develop its own braid on the ends you see that see how easy it untangles with the gel now if i was making them longer like last time i would apply a second round of gel once I passed uh, a certain point, like the halfway mark, or once you start to feel the gel dry up on the braid, like now, I feel it's more dry toward the ends. So if I wanted to add more gel, I could, but since these braids are bob braids, I don't have to keep adding gel on the ends that I'm gonna cut off anyway. I'm gonna make this one a tad bit longer because <clears throat> this is like the middle, like part of the middle part braid. And I want, if I want to flip it over, I want to be able to flip it over and it still be aligned with these. So I'll make this one a little bit longer. This style is so easy and cute. It's perfect for the summer that is slowly but surely approaching us. It's very lightweight, free flowy, airy, and super cute. All right, cut that off. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up here and then move to the sides over here.
All right, y'all, this is how it's looking right now. I just uh, finished the side part right here. And I had to finish the middle. And then I can kind of see that. But this is how we're coming out. I'm loving this look. It is perfect for this hot weather we have here in Texas. Um, I just got to stick my little baby hair down, y'all. I'm trying to get my edges to grow back. Um, I've been using Jamaican black castor oil. And I seem to have some new girls coming in. I just got to be more consistent. And I try when I braid my hair not to pull my edges. That's why I left these kind of out. And right here, I gelled some in. That's why I like it's kind of pulled, but it's not It's not heavy at all. It's no tension. Um, very lightweight, and I love that about it. Um, so far, I just added my little pieces of accent string, just some burgundy pieces. Since the hair was like a 99J color. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out how I can make make them curve. Like this side seems to kind of curve a little bit more than the other side. But I'll figure it out before I come back to y'all with the final look. But yep, this is how it's looking so far. Trying to get these little pieces like this to kind of fold inward, but I'll figure it out. I think it'll do it naturally because, like, y'all see how it kind of folds when it sits on my neck. It'll kind of make it, um, kind of make it be a naturally. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, I just want to show y'all how it's looking. I like pulling it to the side here. Kind of gives it that crisp bob look. Or I can go on this side. I made straight parts in the front so I could have, you know, side part, middle part, semi side part, however. I wonder if I dip them in hot water, would they be more free flowy or would they be, would they set straight? I don't want them to be straight. But I do want them to have a little bit more movement. Alright y'all, I'm going to come back with the finished product. Let y'all see how it came out. But so far, I am loving this. And I'm so glad I decided to do this style. Alright y'all. The finished look. I am finally done. This took me a couple days. Because I had some stuff I had to do in between time. But... We done. So this is my little spring summer protective style. I'm gonna call it a protective style. My little bob with the rubber bands on the end. I tried to make them all as even as I could, but for the most part, you get the gist. You know it's a bob when you see it. Um, my only issue is, wait, let me see if I can show y'all. Y'all see how these kind of flip up a little bit? I might have to dip them in some water, but I'm going to see. I'm going to test one side out and see if it makes them straight or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you dip the ends of your braids and it make them kind of, you know, silky straight look? I'm going to see if that's what it does and if it does. I'm not going to do it, so. Yeah, but this is it. I'm going to turn around the back. Does it look even to y'all? But yeah, so I just slicked my little baby hairs down. I ain't got that many from wearing braids over the years and not taking care of it. But I'm trying to get them edges to grow back. So, but yeah, I like it. It's cute. I got a few styles I can wear with it. I don't have my clips in here, but. Add my little accent piece here, and I got one up here. I think I'm gonna add one more. But yeah, what y'all think? So let me know what y'all think about it. Um, I'm 
hoping this will last me at least a good month. And I may just redo it because I really like this style. I've been wanting to buy braids for a long time, but I never did them because my hair was always too long and I wasn't a fan of cutting my hair. But as y'all know, I don't cut this much off. This was my little ponytail in the back. <laughs> I cut all this little dead hair off. Y'all can see it's just dry and brittle. So the back is mainly natural hair i probably got an inch left i got to cut off only less is there so when i put my hair in the ponytail in the back or whatever it'll um all fit so yeah but i'm gonna uh, save this and i'm probably gonna do another chop video where i show y'all i chop off all the dead ends but anywho let me go ahead and end this video i hope y'all like them um I showed y'all in the beginning how I did these, so yeah. Anywho, till next time, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.